everybody, wait a minute, hold on a second. Let me turn off the music. Hello, everybody, how are you? Can you hear me? I don't know, I, there's nobody watching. Uh, I decided to take a walk in the park today. I just a little walk. I'm, I'm not walking as good as I used to, but we'll, you know, try and do something about it. Yeah, so I'm forcing myself to walk today and to get some exercise. Uh, and I'll do this every day until I finally can walk again. Uh, it's been, you know, what the problem is, is with COVID and everything, there's just no reason to go out and take walks. And, uh, eh, well, you know, it's time for me to take a walk. So I did it today, okay? Hello, Maria. I know you've been there a couple of other days, too. Really appreciate it. You know, I do that nighttime show. And uh, we get a couple hundred people watching it. I do a really stupid thing like yesterday where I said, uh, well, we're going to turn on the camera and have you watch us watching Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. And it got like over 300 views. And I'm going, why am I busting my ass at night doing these shows all the time? I mean, I love the show on Monday. I just love that. I mean, I can get two people watching it and I'd be happy with it. But uh, the ramble, eh, you know, what if I, I do this and all of a sudden I get several hundred people who've watched this over a given day and I go, I get, you know, what the hell? Anyway, so we're watching, we've been watching, uh, Amber, Marjorie loves it, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. And I can't say that I don't have a certain glee out of it too. Uh, we're both on Team Depp, by the way. We're both rooting for Johnny Depp in this matter. Uh, she's rooting for him. I don't know why, because I think he, she puts it, he's the better actor of the two. <laughs> and uh, uh, we go, okay, all right, fine. By the way, of the people who are watching, can you hear me okay? Is the sound coming through? Am I, is my audio decent? Wait a minute, hold on a second. Choose your live mode. I said live, no, I said mystery mask. Surprise your viewers with different masks every five seconds. No, what is that? I don't need that. No, you hear me fine. Okay. So anyway, we're on Team Dip. Uh, I, I feel that Amber Heard, you know, <clears throat> you could say, oh, this is a case of the woman complaining their husband, you know, beat her and so on and so forth. Basically, all I see for the most part is that he wrecked a lot of furniture, which I guess he could afford to do. Uh, and uh, I, I, outside of that, they have a couple of things where they say, well, did she have a bruise on her face? Well, yeah, you could kind of see a bruise on her face. You know, I'm sure maybe he did at times slap her but she did something that cut off the tip of his finger. So, you know, uh, there's violence and then there's violence like cutting off a finger. Uh, these are two people who I think were embattled and there was some enjoyment they got out of it, what I don't know. I've never liked fighting with wives. I've usually always admitted my guilt in order to stop the fight, even though I may have been right, uh, you know. So I'm, I'm uh, you know, I, 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 un I understand in looking at it that Johnny, to begin with, had a drug problem, no question about it, and an alcohol problem. He might not have that now, but he does did then, and that's no excuse. But it is an excuse for her exacerbating it. Because when you listen to her, and she was recording everything, like she was looking for a divorce. She was recording everything. When you hear her, she's yelling at him, she's screaming at him, she is inciting him and riling him up. And he's in the middle of this drug problem and can't cope and reacts in ways which are not right. But basically, there was a lot of destruction to furniture. And if it's your furniture, I'm sorry, I don't find that horrible. I find it every reason for her to leave, for her to go out and get a divorce, you know. But she started this whole thing about, you know, 
abuse to women and so on and so forth. And really she diminishes the, the feeling that women may have had, uh, the, 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 the diminishes the, the case for women who are battered, okay? In other words, to say that Amber Heard was battered in comparison to women who are really battered, I mean, horrible. And, you know, it's a terrible thing. Anybody, well, hey, when anybody beats up another human being, whether it's a woman or a man, it's wrong. You know, violence is not, is not called for. But, you know, she knew how to pull the strings and to get him going and to say things that would bother him. You know, uh, it was an embattled situation which was only exacerbated by her in many cases. And I think, you know, in all the Me Too and everything, we tend to take the onus of guilt off of the people who cause the problem. And in the case of women, it, all women are not right. All women are not wrong. But all women are not right, and all women, a lot of women know how to pull the lever in their man to cause them to go crazy and go nuts and destroy furniture. What I've seen in this trial is a destruction more to furniture than to uh, Amber herself. And I just find it, uh, I find it fascinating. And uh, it, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of hooked on it. It's, it's like, um, it's like a real life soap opera, right? And both these people are not sympathetic characters. I mean, look at her. I mean, she looks like a money-grubbing, man-chasing, money-chasing woman. And first, uh, she's going out with Elon Musk. Then she's going out with Johnny Depp. And then it came out today in the trial that she had kept seeing Musk. Okay. Well, she wants a free ride, a free ride in a rocket. Anyway, uh, uh, she, uh, you know, she's not a t an innocent party here, and neither definitely is he. I mean, he did hit her on a couple of occasions. And he did destroy a lot of furniture and probably made her life a living hell. But she made his a living hell as well. And what they did is they were both living in the hell they created. And I just, if I were a juror, I'd go, I don't know who to give an award to in all of this. But my feeling is if there is an award, as I've said, a gold statuette at the end of this, should be given to the best performer because really what we're watching are two performers and i gotta tell you depth's a better better actor of the two that's my opinion and uh, so that's kind of it i think i have just blown my wad on this and uh i'll uh, i'm gonna go back to my uh oh, see i'm in a park this is the uh this is the park up near us uh remember the name of it now I keep forgetting we have so many parks New York has every time you turn a street somewhere there's another park now, there's even one park down here that really isn't a park at all named after the guy who started the Pullman's Union I'm trying to remember his name now it's not my day uh, so they have a little park but everybody just goes there to shoot up so you know and it's near our apartment house which now has more sheds around it first as around it and then in our courtyard it's all the way around uh i don't know in my lifetime if i'm ever going to see my apartment house get back to the glory that it once had but anyway i'm going to head back home taking a short walk i'm trying to take a short walk every day and try to make them longer as i go and wish you all a very happy day and hope that you're uh, you're enjoying it. You know, if somebody calls, uh, Len LaFrisco, are you out there? It says it said you were watching, and it said if I wanted to bring you on, I could. Uh, but I can, I can, anybody who watches me, I can bring them on camera. Uh, and Vern Bradley is watching. I could bring him on camera. Uh, but I, I don't know how to how to do that so I don't want to do it because you might not want to be on camera so uh, let me do this quickly let me see here
is Andy there? It says, bring them on the camera. But Andy isn't there. Okay, so Andy's not doing it. Okay. Uh, let me see. I'm Bradley. <laughs> Here's some more names. Ah, Len LaFrisco is watching. But it doesn't say bring him on camera. So, yeah, well. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you all later. Have a nice day, everybody. I'm going to try and crawl back home. Bye.